Let's select one of Gemstat's example data sets to get us started. From the menu, select File, Open Example Data Sets. Here you can find a variety of data sets that covers many fields such as statistics, medical studies, agriculture and biology. Click Filter by Topic to search for an example data set based on a specific type of analysis. When you select a topic in the list, the data sets related to that topic are displayed. Select Introduction to GenStat for Windows. This topic contains the data set we are interested in. Type Iron. This will quickly find the file we are after and display it at the bottom of the window. The description tells you what is in the data set. In this case, the data set contains an analysis of soil samples. Double click the file to open it. This displays the data in a spreadsheet. To load the data into the central data pool, click anywhere outside the spreadsheet. Move to the navigator on the left. This should display the data view. If you can see the window navigator here, move down and click the data tab to switch to the data view. At the top of the data view, double click All Data. Here we can see four sets of information. In GenStat, we call these data structures. Data structures that store lists of numbers are called variates and are identified by a blue V. Data structures that define groups are called factors and are identified by a red exclamation mark. GenStat provides a range of data structures that are convenient for different types of data, but factors and variates are the most commonly used. Notice that as you hover the mouse over a data structure, a tooltip displays information about its attributes. You can turn off tooltips by right-clicking and deselecting Display Tooltips. If you want to redisplay the spreadsheet, the previous and next buttons let you cycle through your open windows. This Window List button lists all open windows so that you can quickly find the one you're looking for. You can choose to work on a subset of the data. To do this, select a few data structures, then right-click and create a new spreadsheet to display only those data structures you selected. In the next video, we'll show you how to produce summary statistics by working through a simple example.